Guys, focus. Focus. It's T1 versus Sandbox. First versus third place. Okay, this is going to be an exciting draft. I know Faker and Carrier are cooking. Banning Zeus is Jace. Understandable. Carrier is Ash. Winner release. Good. That's Carrier, Caitlyn, not Gumiushi. No, I'm kidding. I promise you. T1 won't pick Zeus. Please undo it. 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 It's okay. Faker can cook. Faker can cook. Let Faker cook. There's nothing shocking here. Vi take away to not give them Vi into Zeri. Three junglers ban. Next one is Wukong. And then it's just basic shit. Yeah, I think Akali ban is not bad for Sandbox. Azir ban is alright. Talia ban is fine. That Renekton ban is so useless, I think. What are they picking on four? Are they picking Cassante? Mm. If they ban Fiora, they get Cassante. If they ban... Mm. How is Cassante into Fiora is pretty shit, right? Oh my god. No fun allowed! No uh, way, don't pick Azir. If they play Azir versus Victor, and if they pick Victor, Cassante, or something, Akali is kind of hard this game, but I would respect it closer. Birdle's not much of... Is he a Cassante main? I mean, I like Birdle on carries. Can Birdle pick Fiora? Don't pick Cassante, Zeus, please. As long as they don't pick Cassante, I'm fine. <coughs> Yasuo and Denaro is a classic counter. Oh, yes, Yasuo top! Yasuo top into Nar, classic counter. Oh my god, yes, Zeus. He cooked, he cooked. Yes. Oh, yes. Finally. Finally, finally, finally. Hey guys, this is just a generic YouTube intro to just say, uh, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe and like the video. Uh, it really helps and I would really appreciate it. So, enjoy. Yasuo, good counter to Nar. I like it. Well, good. It used to be. Long time ago. I think it probably is still a good matchup. Can Yasuo ult off a zero R? He can, I believe. Even Nautilus hook he can ult off. I can't watch the Korean cast because the Korean cast is not on Twitch anymore. They're on Africa TV. Then when was this a matchup? This was a matchup. Uh, Yasuo Nar. When was this? Season. I'm gonna say it was season seven. I think it was when Huni was on T1 that Yasuo top was common. No, you can't dive this Faker. Oh, he fucked up his W. Clean. You have to notice how level 1 Zeus used the bush top so he could get the slow push. So that he can uh, crash the, the fourth wave. Otherwise, Nar can actually trade level 1. Okay, T1 basically have three pushing lanes. The only reason mid dropped was because of the gank. But it should recover. Double crab and ward on raptors uh, on Gromp. This was really good by uh, by owner. He warded here, took the crab and warded here to cover mid and top, and then left them into bot crab. Oh, carrier! Oh no! Very uncommon mistake by carrier. Not a very big, not a very normal thing with carrier there. He just has a flash here. Oh is good. The flash owner. Uh, Kale completely into it. He thought he could cancel his Q with bubble. He should have just flashed the Q. Holy shit, top is a montage up here. He still has his pot as well. What did Karia do? Oh, he just didn't think the bubble would hit, I guess. Oh yeah, Sandbox is T1 Academy. Not a bad game for Sandbox so far. It's T1 who has the... Larger Not too shabby indeed. He has to go through the tower and then a flash across the wall. Nine months at three oh, smooth. that works too. So, so that was fucking clean. <clears throat> that was actually really clean. I didn't think he could do that. Zeus is destroying up here. This is not very fair, is it? I stir this yes up. What? Enemy team Yasuo, yep. Yeah. It's fucking scary. Red health bar, red t-shirt, red side. Enemy team Yasuo. Closer is trying to roam around. Faker is just kind of staying in mid. He can't really find anything. He even pinged the ward for 5 gold. Uh oh. Oh, he died. But I don't think Willer can do anything here, can he? Maybe? Oh, the bubble! Oh, the bubble was so good! Chaos carrying the whole game! Oh, they won that! What? Oh my god, Kyle well. is the best. Oh it's Kyle Drell. Damn. Sandbox game state is really, really good. Kills on Nami is not bad, actually. 
doesn't really matter. Kyle well, Lucian needs his Gale Force. Go no King takes the reset. Nami is a free shutdown? Not really. It's not like... I mean, if T1 are using Vild to kill Nami, then I think they're going to have a few problems in the back line. Oh, the bubble was so good! Again, like, what? So why does he dash in here? You see, he thinks Lucian dashing in is a mistake. But he backstepped into the bubble instead of front-stepped. Even then, jungler's there, so... Yeah, Lucian has Gale Force now. I think bot is over. Owner realizes it. This, uh, Nami He's going so top, oh, but this is going to be a big mistake. Willer made a mistake, he showed. If he didn't show and let them dive, holy fuck, it was a double kill. <laughs> That's pretty weird interaction there as he gets all the way over that big fat wall. Yeah, as Envy's found Faker, um, Faker is going to try and get out. And he oh does so my as god, that was clean. Holy uh, shit, that's, Faker. Uh, that's, that's, that's he had no Rocky. time to put a soldier up. So he dashed there, back and then went up with Q. Down. I think what happened was Faker was here, Lucian was here. Faker had a soldier here and didn't have time to W. So he e and then insta queued and then flashed over. I mean, T1 is breaking angles, yes, ankles, yes, but... Sandbox is stomping them. Even if like Zeus and Faker are styling, it doesn't really matter. Like this Yasuo can't carry if the game keeps going like this. Look at this T1 trucker in chat. Stomping? Okay. Keep... I can't see it. Keep on coping. It's a trucker. What do you mean they're not stomping? They, their bot lane destroyed them. Mm. Yes, Sandbox is not stomping T1, are they? This looks very winnable for T1. <laughs> what are you talking about? I like T1, don't get me wrong. But I will say it as it is. I'm not going to sit here and bullshit. Yeah? When the game is fucked, I'll say the game is fucked. I don't care which team it is. What is going on? Oh my god, closer. Much love, Mr. Yeah, Akali into Azir. Really good matchup for Akali. Akali into Azir is really good for Akali on side lane. The only reason I think that Akali was a little bit of a risky pick for Sandbox is because they have Lulu, and if bot goes even, Lulu is really good at negating it. And then someone in chat says, I am biased to T1. I'm more biased than LS to T1. How am I biased to T1? What is happening? In this chat, I've been called a T1 hater, a T1 hate watcher, a T1 fanboy, and T1 biased. What is happening, man? Can you guys just chill out? I couldn't give a fuck who wins this series. Does it change my life if Sandbox or T1 win? No, it doesn't. So I'll just say what I'm seeing. You are just cringe. I'm done with this chat. I'm done. Well, it's pretty obvious that T1 have some issues around bot jungle in this game. I don't know if there was miscommunication, but Carrier made a mistake. Then they recovered the mistake, but they lost 3v3 from overextending. And then Kuma made another mistake, so bot jungle fell apart. Top did fine. Faker did fine. I think Faker could have done a bit better, because if you look at it on paper, Akali got two roams off and went even versus here and didn't lose a single plate. Yeah, okay, full send. Respect. Uh, yeah, I think T1 realized the game's lost, so they have to fight. I don't really blame them. Akali is very balanced. Faker just pushed him into... Oh, closers. Ah. Yeah, I think T1 realized the game is completely out of control. I'm glad you enjoyed the episode, man. So they have to fight. And the only window they have is Lucian no flash. When Lucian has flash up again, absolutely unkillable. Because I think Lucian flash is up now, right? Yeah. They had Lucian flash window for like 30 seconds, so have to go. So now it's even worse situation. Shouldn't they play safe and scale? I mean, you can't really just sit there and scale till 30 minutes. Because enemy team's champs are so strong in mid game, right? They're playing Wukong, Akali, Lucian, and they're ahead. So what they'll do is force every objective. And you need to get, like, T1 there. If they got Lucian and got a kill and got out and got Nash or something, then they can contest Sol. If they can't, then they can never contest. I mean, they might try to contest Sol anyway, but they will lose the game if they do that. The good news is uh, LSB only have... They don't really have good Siege. They kind of need Nash to end. It's really hard for them to end without Nash. I mean, T1 could try to sneak Nash over the wall, but they have a pink in the pit is the only problem. 
Bwipo is better than Willer and Willer is better than Owner. Yeah, I think my chat is absolute degenerate today. I think I'm just gonna stop looking. Yeah, LSP did good to stop them from doing Nash. I think Sandbox can just start Nash on the next next wave, get us here, TP. I think mean, they can do whatever the fuck they want. I think starting Nash is the best though. Do you want to question mark pinging it? Because I think they know they're going to go to it soon. Looks like Nami wants to refresh her awards though. Well, here comes the force. Ooh, Akali Shadow Flame as well. Jesus, man. Oh, Closer is just going in. Okay, that just happened. He just, he just right clicked him and killed him. What can T1 do? Well, they can prage the owner. Or they can just walk in this tree and die. Oh, closer. I mean, this game was done. When they lost the mid fight and they had uh, two kills on Lucian, and Akali solo killed us here, the game was over. This was like a game which is unsalvageable. Bot lane made too many mistakes this game. I mean, jungle as well a bit. Yasuo could never really get rolling. The thing is with Yasuo is if the map is falling apart, your champ really cannot carry. It's not like things like Fiora or Camille that can still have impact. If your team is like this far behind, your impact is zero. Ah, it wasn't. A, was that a stomp? Was that not a stomp? No, that wasn't a stomp. Still, right? That doesn't count. My words were wrong, right? I shouldn't have said stomp. T1 was. It was close to winning, right? Listen, T1 fans, okay? Don't get mad, okay? If T1 is stomping, I'll say T1 is stomping. If they're getting stomped, I'll say they're getting stomped, okay? I'm not here to intentionally piss you off or say the wrong thing, okay? I'm here to say honest opinions, okay? This draft is gonna be really insane, okay? So everyone calm down, this is gonna be crazy. They are, are they gonna man Jace again, Sandbox? Don't you miss solo queue? No, I don't miss solo queue. My mental health has never been better. I can actually get up in the morning and my day is not ruined by my solo queue games. I don't have to sit there and if I win a game, then I call my mum, I go for a run, I ride my bike, I book a holiday, and then I lose my game and I block everyone on all social media, I cancel my flight and I don't leave the house. Yeah, okay, it's good. I think LSP might have to go Varus. They can try Zeri, but the problem is Caitlyn can be flexed, so don't really want to play Zeri into it. I think Varus Sedge is better. Because then you can... Actually, this Irelia ban is so annoying, but I think Varus Sedge is better. And then you can pick top on three if they pick Jace. But what happens here is if you pick jungle, and they don't, how much value can they get out of it if they're banned out when you can counter top anyway? You got support. Oh, they are gonna go Jace, wow. Wow, 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 wow. That might be a mistake. Let's see how the draft plays out. They take Sedge. What is this free up for? What are you picking on support? Heimer? Are you dropping support anyway? And you just lost Sedge? Uh, don't like this pick here. Yo, Jago, thanks for Prime. Just pick mid, maybe. Just pick mid. I don't know. Oh my god, I don't know. Okay, but it's so bad. What are you gonna ban? That's gonna make this chase broken. Tell me. If you ban something like Renekton, I'm done. <laughs> Just let me draft for you, please. Please, please, please. I think they should ban Azir and pick Silas on 4. Okay, ban Victor. Mm, you're not picking Azir, right? You're not doing that. Oh, maybe they pick Annie. So is Kassadin good against any? I think if they don't ban Kassadin, I don't think they're scared of any. This is why I think they should have picked Silas on 4. Good Silas ban. I think they should pick jungle. Just a good, just a random AP jungler. Don't pick Azir, please, 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 please. Please don't pick Azir, please. Oh my god. Oh my god. Just go Corky Faker, no joke. Oh no. <laughs> no, don't. I'm, I was kidding, I was kidding. I was kidding, I was kidding, I was kidding. I was kidding, I was kidding. It was a joke. <laughs> It was a joke. No, don't lock it in, please. <laughs> oh my god. Watch it, Zeus play. No, not Nar. Hmm. Irelia ban is kind of annoying, actually. Yone is hard. <laughs> oh yeah, Sion. Okay, what jungler are we cooking here? What are we cooking? If you pick Vi on 5 here, I'm just gonna flip this table. I swear to god. <laughs> Wukong! <laughs> wow, that's what we sacked Sejuani for. A five pick Wukong? Is that it? I don't know. I think Sandbox's draft is all over the place. Trundle not good here? No, Trundle is. Uh, Trundle is fine, but. Actually, yeah, Trundle would have been okay. 
Okay, this game should be good for T1. <laughs> good level one bot, get their turrets. Muy bien, me gusta, si senor. Scorch enjoyers. BayZ. Everyone is a Scorch enjoyer this game. Is it me or does NVE look like a cloned gum IUC? Their names are even kinda similar, both being Lee too. Hmm, I don't like that. If, if Sion was half HP, I kinda like the knockback flash, but... I don't think this gets you much, because your bot side is now gonna get fucking robbed. Like, why is this guy doing three camps into top? We didn't get a replay of this, but now he loses his bot camps. Bot is going good for T1. Top is going good for T1. Mid is going good for T1. Everything's going really good. I think this game is just one. I don't see how they can lose this game, to be honest. I just hate Sandbox's draft so much. T1 biased! La 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 la. Owner Kaina needs 6 if he wants to punish mid. Corky Sejuani, not the best to be 2 I'll admit. Oh, nice stun by Kale. Yeah, this game is really hard. They lose 3v3 bot and they're overforcing it too much. But the problem is, what options does the Wukong have? Do you go top and get your Jace ahead against the Scion, which will get you nothing, and your bot lane gets blasted? Do you go bot and lose 3v3, or do you go mid and nothing can happen ever either, because it's Corky Azir? Really and you're playing Wukong. Yeah, Corky is here, least interactive lane ever, especially he's gone Hex Drinker first item. Now Varus has no sums, so the shafting session gets worse. They have a bot wave, they could look for Drake, but maybe. They don't have Smite. His top camps are up too. Herald spawning. Oh no, it's the classic Jace versus Sion. Sion TP advantage, pushing Jace in. Oh no. Why did Corky go Hex Drinker? I think he knows the game is won, so he's just gonna play safe as possible. You want can just chill and do nothing? Yeah. They can push all three lanes and chill. And owner just needs to start doing objectives. Needs to start Drake soon. Good, he started Drake. Then he needs to do Herald. <coughs> when Sion is back top. I feel like people on red side are just getting mind controlled to in draft away. When a team sometimes first pick, like, Caitlyn, their direction in draft is much... Oh, Carrier. Did that hit? What? I thought he missed that. Show it to me again. Okay, this is the bot fight. Envy gets really greedy here. Oh, he stepped on a trap. Also, why does he run back in? Oh my god, Varus completely into that. <coughs> Varus into that quite hard. So how does this Lux Q hit? Oh, they cancelled it. This game is so unplayable, man. Not even gonna be put down. <sighs> I hate it. I hate this draft so much. I hate. He's. Is he going stride breaker, Jace? What the fuck is that? No, he's not going gore drinker, right? Well, T1 are a perfect gaming right now. Just throw your ult. Throw it. The fuck's going on? He should have done that when Corky was in range. If he threw his ult there, Lux, even with cleanse, Lux ult would have hit on top of Corky damage. Maybe that was a kill. <laughs> Those laughs. Here comes Sejuani Sion, where they press their buttons together, and without ult on Sejuani, they still win. Because it's a tank, and you're playing Jace, and we don't care. Our draft is 10 times better, because you didn't pick Sejuani. Mm, yeah, pick Jace, Core Drinker, instead of Sejuani. Runs away. Yo, Jade thinks it. Oh, Carrier! Oh, he gave the kill as well. <laughs> Ow. Oh my god, owner. Don't do that. He should just Q forwards and not ult. And let Varus dodge. Oh my god, the draft difference is unbelievable. Come on, perfect game them. Show them. Show them why they should pick Sejuani on 1-2. Oh, a kill, a kill, a kill for Sandbox! Guma! No, Guma ruined it! The perfect game! 
like you got POG Kyle? <laughs> no. As I think he might be out again at this game. Charlie is now. Yeah, Carrier Lux is a bit good. A little bit good. LSB equals Lick Socks bitch. Shut up. Carrier is quite good. Gore Drinker Jace. Hmm. I feel like this Gore Drinker is doing nothing. And if he had a better item there, he probably would have killed Sejuani. Divine Sunderer Jace. Jace is not a very good Sheen champion. I'll tell you that. Unless he's... No, he's a terrible Sheen champion. If you group up as Divine Sunderer Jace, you're useless. Jace needs ability haste and AD. Lots of AD and armor pen or lethality. I don't know, dude. Carrier. Carrier Lux, man. Is it fair? Oh, Faker, clean. T1 is stomping sandbox. The chat is either <coughs> insanely down bad or complete degenerate. Bomba. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he can move. <laughs> That's fair. I feel like knowing T1, Wukong's probably gonna steal this Nash. I feel like every time T1 is in a situation like this, they get sloppy. An enemy jungler just steals Nash. Ah, I can't steal Nash if you don't do Nash. Big TP flank from the Gore Drinker Jace. Here he comes. Sounds like Ligma. <laughs> Shut up. Will go down. Maybe he does die. No, Faker. Oh my god, Lux, Lux Qs are so good. Lux Qs are so good. Oh yeah, hit him with it. Oh, Bomba. Our streamer has COVID chat highly and run. Oh my god, Faker, what the fuck? <laughs> What the fuck? He's crazy. Oh, double kill. <laughs> no, he's laughing, Faker. That was, that was funny. That was good. Well, that was a game. Uh, both games have just been stomps, man. I'm laying here back in my chair. What, what, when is there going to be an LCK series when the games are close? I feel like every game is just a stomp. At least first pick, good. They should lose Zeri and uh, Wukong. No, Sejuani. Sejuani, Lulu. Ooh! You wanna play too? It'll be fun. That's your karma. They should pick Sej or Wukong. I don't know. I feel like if they pick Wukong, Annie's probably going mid. If they pick Sej, I think Annie's going support. Probably going support then. Oh! Yeah! Yeah, Lee Sin, baby. That's what I'm talking about. This champ is so bad, but we'll allow it. Okay, they think it's any mid, but I think it's any support. I think they should pick a tank on four. Just don't pick a zero, please. Just pick. Just pick. Just pick. Just pick. Uh, Syndra or Cassante or. Hmm. Yeah, Jax is fine too. Are they just gonna play Nara Kali? No, don't pick a zero closer, please. Please! Don't pick a zero, 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 don't pick a zero. If you're gonna pick a mage pick Victor, please, please don't pick a zero, 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 please, 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 please. I want faker Akali, 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 I want faker Akali. Pick pick Akali, please, please, please. Let's go, man. Please pick Akali, please pick Akali. Pick Akali. Faker, if you pick Akali, I'll take you on a date. Faker, I'll kiss you if you pick Akali. I'll take you on a date, I'll get you some flowers. It's so good here. Please, please, please see it. Please. Please do it. Oh, this is why you're my favorite. Okay, this is just it. Me and Faker are going on a date. Damn, 60 to 61. Lee Sin would win though. How bad is Lee Sin clear? It's so bad. It's so bad. Ooh. Nice Q. Oh, Faker's dead. It's a decent little snare, but he was holding onto the turret. But it's worth. Wave is good. Faker STP. Such a bro. Guma? What the fuck? Why didn't Kale just flashing Knight auto there? When he did that? When he backstepped up? He was dead. At Cedar, I had full nose all the time for like last three or four months. 
Doctor said my nasal pharynx is in bad condition and recommended to use Whoa. neti pot and even it's made really helps so much. Faker, 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 Clean. Clean, that's all that matters, it was clean. Okay. That's for karma. Bomba, top. He can't kill. Maybe he can. Oh, he missed the stun. Oh, he missed the boulder. El Diablo 2 with the hot take. Why is everyone blaming Gumayushi Zeri when it's just cringe carry? I just want to pick a proper support. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Wonder if Sniff has something. Oh, oh Faker's dead. Oh, is he? Yeah. So close. I mean, the game is still fine for T1, I think. Not the end of the world. But their bot is under tower and they're looking for a mid play. Uh, Faker should never E him there. He should just run out. Sandbox is winning, what happened? Um, their bot lane is playing really well. And Wither actually has a champ now. Why is Annie getting picked? Um, got buffs, right? So. Not too much of a gold lead, only 1k, but the push is a problem. The poke is a problem. Birdle has TP though, he can TP behind them. Oh no, T1. Just get out, 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 out. Clown's all again. Yeah. I mean, Drake's ones really matter this game, I think. It is uh, definitely <coughs> telling a story about how this game is going, as I'll hold that thought. Owner's gonna move over. Cocoon Holy fuck, that chain CC. Leap strike gets us relatively out of danger, but Ooh, now the carrier. Down. Oh, no, Bears oh, Faker. Spiders, you know, you always take the bear on that one. As good night, Karma, as well. Bertle now under this more? turret. Is he safe no. there? The answer's yes for now. Oh, carrier just saved it. Scheme. Okay, hold up. I missed. We'll see where the Gumiushi can actually win the 1v1 here. As, uh, the he wins, he wins, he wins. Quite effectively. He'll close the gap and oh, he missed one Q. Oh my god, Guma! He missed like three Qs. Oh, also, when he flashed into the bush, he missed as well. Oh my god, he missed W, he missed three Qs. Oh, Guma. Nestrial should never win that. Especially when you have shield bow. Okay, let's let's look at that again. Is this Envy outplaying or is this Guma? So the W was a miss because it was out of a bush. Q wide there. Here one he misses here. There he missed. And now in the bush, look, he, he flashed into the bush, but Q passed him. In I think eight, nine times out of ten, Zeri should win that. So well played to Envy. <clears throat> is already on Soul Band in pro play? Yeah, it's disabled till next week, I think. He's going Banshee second. Hmm. I hope he's just sitting on that Verdant barrier. I don't want him to go Banshee second. Because he kind of needs stopwatch and Shadow Flame. Yeah, you can hover a disabled champ. It's not. It's just the champ is still enabled, but Riot says it's disabled, so you don't pick it. It's against the rules. They don't actually disable it physically. They just say it's not pickable. I mean, you can pick it in troll face, but you'll get fined. And they'll remake the draft. <laughs> When is Shadow Flame versus Void Staff? I mean, Shadow Flame's probably better. I mean, Void Staff's better probably when you have like loads of AP champs on your team. Like if they're playing Akali, Sejuani, Kennen, I think they all need Void Staff ASAP. But uh, when you're a solo AP or 2 AP, yeah, Shadow Flame's better. Also, Void Staff is needed later on because it's percentage based, right? Looks like Faker is finishing Banshees. I don't really like it. I, th I feel like the Banshees can be procced really easily. And I don't know how much value he's getting out of the MR. To be honest, if you wanted to do this direction, I think maybe Merc Treads into, so into Shadow Flame must more damage and can do a similar job. Because they have Elise, but I'm I'm not an item. I'm not an dude. I'm not an item Andy. No, I'm not. I don't. Dude, I don't care. What is this? A T1 Nash? Oh no. Ooh, nice turn, Carrier. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Very very nice. Beautiful, actually. I think LSB now realizing maybe they need Mikhail's for Ezreal. Game is in a really good spot for T for T1 now. All they have to do is just one three one. But I don't know why Zayus is top. I guess it's because there's no bot tier two and he wants to play on this top wave. Yeah, it's probably better to go Rabidons if you're going Benchies. Also, they don't have that much MR. Ezreal gets caught because he has no Krillin, no cleanse. I mean, it's a mixture. Ezreal got caught, yes. T1's turn was good though because they all went on the same time. Okay, so you're gonna have Astralis versus BDS. 
nothing that decided like this is the okay. moment. Okay, and you're gonna have Koi at no Koi. SK versus Heretics, okay? The winner of Astralis BDS will play against Mad. The winner of Vi uh, SK versus Heretics will play Vitality, okay? Then there will be Koi versus G2. The winner of this goes to the finals, okay? These two will then go into the top four with these two into a double elimination best of five. And the winner of this will be in the finals and it's basically top four best of fives. And there will be one week left. There's going to be a best of five. Probably Mad, Vitality, Koi, G2. The winner of Koi, G2 on Monday goes to finals. The rest are in a double limb best of five. The winner of that face is Koi or G2. You know. Wait, Owner's dead. Oh, Faker. Nice stopwatch by Envy. Wait. Wait, Envy is smurfing. Wait, Envy is smurfing. Oh, closer. Oh, Envy's dead. <laughs> The backline looked alright. Wait, Sandbox is flipping an Ash? Respect. Respect, just fucking flip it. T1 will probably wipe them. Oh, owner, you're too good. Oh, Faker just murdered closer as well. Oh, T1 is just embarrassing them. Oh, Faker. Oh, oh my god, he played that so good. <gasps> He'd proto belted Envy's Q and managed to get him. Well, just give Carrier POG again, yeah. Or owner. Ah, uh, Carrier. Damn. Well, T1 first game was disgusting, but the second game was insane and you draft gap them to shit. And this game was good. So, yeah, T1 looking uh, like the best team still. Well, they just beat third place. T1 uh, beat third place. And on Sunday, they play against Gen G, who's in second place. So, if they stomp Gen G, then. Yeah, T1's top of, the, top of the table. Just if they can beat Gen G, basically. I think that's the last team that they have. Yeah.